you serve the gift of God that's on the inside of you, God says then you will be a force to be reckoned with. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Church family, get ready for an exhilarating month ahead in May as we celebrate our journey from the establishment of our church in 1962. Yeah. Yeah.
too big but my bag is literally like a small pouch and it went over the line by literally in half an inch if I wasn't coming to see Sarah today I would definitely say bitch you could have let me in the venue it was a half an inch and you searched my bag so would something just miraculously pop up out of my bag that would be of danger to the uh, facility you could have let me in that building. Okay, I'm done.
is to get you back to a place where you flow in the gift of God that he so freely gave to you. And it came at a cost. But the price has been paid. So for you to not spend it, the very gift that God gave you, I wish I could say that better. The gift of God is not something you earn. It's not something you deserve, but it's already been paid for. So you might as well start using it. You might as well allow it to start reorbiting your existence. You might as well start moving in power. And there will be moments where it is downright scary, but it will not be scarier than you dying with all that power on the inside of you. There's somebody in this room and maybe power has been trapped inside of you. You've been afraid to release it. You've been afraid that when you release it, you won't even know what it looks like. But I hear God saying that that power can't stay trapped in you. That you gotta let that power move in the way that you speak, in the way that you think, in the way that you create. That power was meant to move text with Jesus having this interaction with the woman at the well I realized that he gave her four incredible gifts he gave her the power to be seen a woman who went out of her way to go to the well at a time when no one else would see her Jesus says I see you even though you're hiding 